Hi, I'm Jose Gonzalez and I'm here with Diners Club International. We are at the Country Club Hotel in Lima, Peru, celebrating Latin America's 50 best restaurants. Today I'm joined by Eduardo Tobon, who is the president of Diners Club International. Eduardo, thank you so much for coming today. Pleasure to be here, Jose. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about why it is so important for Diners Club to be at an event like this? Well, gastronomy is one of our pillars worldwide. Uh, the company started as a club and dining was at the core of the foundation of Diners Club International. So we feel that the association with fine dining is one of the things that people, our club members, enjoy. They uh, absolutely love the, the ability for them to know where to go, in which countries, and to have the best uh, dining available for them. Why do you think our car members love to travel and, and dine so much? Um, what, what can they get out of our using our card? Well, basically our card is their access to their world. They take the card wherever they go. They travel uh, to many places around the globe in many cases. But even if they are just local in a specific country where they reside, they like to know which places to go to. They love the ability to say, this is the place that's trendy, this is the new uh, cuisine that's coming up. In case of Peruvian cu cuisine, is a, a cuisine that is no, lo no longer just um, available for Peruvians. It's available for Latin Americans, it's available for the world. So this is what we're seeing here for the first time in Latin America, that the Latin American uh, specialty as a cuisine uh, goes all the way from Mexico down to Argentina, and people are embracing it. It's not just the Mexican uh, cuisine that's uh, sort of permeated the world before. Now Peruvian cuisine is considered very fine dining, Brazilian, and many other countries that are going to be awarded today. Why do you think the organization for Latin America's 50 Best chose Peru to, to have the event? I think one of the main reasons they chose Peru was the ability for Peru to work very closely with them. There's a very big event that's uh, been done uh, for now six years in a row called Mistura, where chefs from all around the globe and Latin America come to uh, connect and for people from all uh, social uh, uh, sort of sides, you know, from high classes, low classes, middle classes, um, to really enjoy and connect through food. So Mistura was born six years ago, and I think it's grown to a point that's becoming a world-class uh, event, recognized, and they felt that, you know, what didn't have was the ability to rank the best restaurants in a region. And Latin America is a very diverse region, and this was a great event in order to showcase what the region can offer, not just Peru, but the entire region. Great, thank you Eduardo for your time. We appreciate it. And thank you out there. Please follow us at on our blog, believebelong.com. Thank you.